Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. <clears throat> and uh, for those in the know, binomials has nothing to do with the number, um, the exponents there. It was that I used that as a trick to help uh, people remember the binomial uh, elements. So f please forgive the uh, confusion if there is any. And now to our regularly scheduled program. Factoring binomials. We have a, a binomial that looks like uh, like this: 25x squared minus one. Well, just like uh, like we've seen earlier, uh, binomial means two. And here's the two. And so we're going to take. Uh, we know that by this time, five squared equals 25. So we'll take that and put it into our two sets of parentheses again. Two, five, and five. We know we have two x's, two x's. Now, we have a negative one. So, we know that we're going to need at least one negative, which means we're going to need at least one positive. So, this answer, uh, rather to factor this binomial, looks like this. 5x plus 1, 5x minus 1, Let's go ahead and solve, make sure that we are correct. 5 times 5 is 25, so 25x squared. 5 uh, negative, or foiling, right? I'm going to foil to solve to make sure. Foil, foil. And 5x minus 1 is negative 5x. 1 times positive 5x is 5x. 1 times 1 is 1. Positive 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Cancel, cancel. 25x squared minus 1 is the answer, or rather this. For factoring for the binomial, that is the answer. Here is the solution just to make sure we check, to check the problem. All right, thanks for watching. Now let's take uh, 25 x squared minus 1 and drop it into Wolfram Alpha. And take a look at some of the um, graphics it produces. And as you could probably guess, it's going to look like a parabola when it's graphed. Or rather when it's plotted. So let's take a look at that. It's a parabola, 5x minus 1, 5x plus 1, there it is, and the two plots, there's the alternate form, there's the roots, x equals negative 1 to the 5th and 1 to the 5th, there's the polynomial discriminant and the derivatives and the indefinite integrals, the global minimums, etc. So uh, keep that in mind as you're working through these math problems is that uh, math does things not only graphically but as well in nature. Keep an eye out for it and happy computing.